on the old snow blower, the chute deflector was just stationary. The bolt to there, and there's a bolt to there. Um, so you couldn't you couldn't just the shoot up or down. The snow always when it got there. What I plan to do is hook up this eight-inch linear act. First, you got to drill a hole through right here to hook the top of the actuator shaft on. And here, I extended the linear actuator to its full length, eight inches, and marked the hole at the top. Drilled the hole through the chute. At the bottom, drilled the hole through the chute. Made a couple of uh, spacers. Top and bottom put on there. They're not tight yet, they're tighten them up. So then at full extension, the linearator is got to shoot up all the way. And we'll put it down and show you the lower limit and the actuator actually shutting off. Here's the bottom of the drill. So here's my setup. Deep cycle battery. Number six wire coming off it. Went up to a quick connect. This also goes up to the main battery of the tractor so I can charge it off the alternator. It's hooked up to the main battery. I have a winch hooked up. Cable going around the chute. And I got a fuse and putting on that fuse link I'm putting on there. Uh, wires just go in this tube here. Up this tube. And they're going to hook up to a 7-pin trailer connector, which will be connected here. And from here, they will go up to the dash onto some toggle switches. One for the winch and one for the 8-inch linear actuator, which will move the directional spout up and down. It is also wired to wires go through this tube up to here they're all to connect to this 7 pin trailer hook up the toggle switches will be getting power from the battery back on the snow blower so I want to disconnect this leave it on connected until I want to charge the battery and there I will have power to the snow blower chutes from the battery back there and the in-house batteries will only have to be used when I want to charge this battery back here. Here's the 7 pin connector all wired up. Ready to put the cover on and touch to the fender of the tractor. Here I'm getting ready to hook up my toggle switches. Had some snow last night. Not a lot but anyway here's my switches for the winch and the linear actuator. That's the wiring. Just gonna win this little box here. We'll put some wire loom on it, whatever and stuff. We'll go back. Trailer hitch. Mechanism down there to hook it up. Run through it to some PVC pipe here. Rod welded on. Snow blower to support this tube. Inline fuse, 40 amp. For the winch, throw over the wire goes up to the actuator on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna finish putting it together and show you. Here we are. We have to switch in, all wired up and everything. Uh, I gotta put some wire loom around the wires under there yet. A little grommet going in the firewall so it doesn't chafe the wires. Got it in the wire loom down there. Um, Wire loom come all the way back down under there into the disconnect switch down there. The battery will can be charged on the snow blower from the house battery on the tractor. Just a quick disconnect there. And the switches for the winch and the Inner actuator, or just on a just seven pin trailer. Over here. Okay, now I'll show you. I'll show you working.
not real fast, but fast enough. Need a little slack in the line when it starts to turn because it's just too tight. It's not much slack. Now we'll get the other switch for the actuator and show you it working. It's not real fast, but it's a lot better than getting off the machine and changing it. It shuts off at the end of the travel so you can't burn it out or nothing. So that's full extended. You wouldn't want to be higher than that. This is bringing her down. I think it moves uh, 0.20 of an inch per second or something like that. Anyway, it's not bad at all. Same on the way down at the very bottom is a limit switch to limit the travel of it so you don't burn it out. It'll shut off at the, at the very bottom of the travel. Which you could shoot right down beside you if it's There's the bottom of the travel. Both of these switches are monetary on, off, monetary on switches. They both spring back. So well, I think she should be. Alright, put the battery cover on and I'll disconnect this here 90% of the time so it doesn't drain the house battery. And I'll just use that when I want to charge the battery in the snowblower. Anyway, she should be fine. That's her.